All right, here's the makings of that sawmill trailer that I'm building that I talked about about a year ago. Um, let it sit, you know, didn't need it. Had other projects to do, books to write, jobs to quit, uh, jobs to start, that sort of stuff, life, right? So I got the sawmill off Craigslist, or I got the boat trailer off Craigslist for about 150 bucks. I uh, went down to Tractor Supply and bought this coupling, and I bought that jack, um, about 60 bucks for the two of that, then about $40 worth of pressure treated two by fours and then some two by fours and two by sixes whatever that I have scrounged. So basically what I did is I cut out the two by fours to fit in the channel uh, iron and I beat them in there and they're roughly 16 inch on center. There's a couple that are a little more a couple of less you know because the axle you know because of the front up here. All right now uh, these two by fours they're just here to give you a rough guesstimate of, of the size of the trailer. The track um, needs to be a V with a gap in the center to let the sawdust flow down and fall and the wheel will run in that V, right? So just the edges of the wheel will hit the board. So these two by fours I'm gonna rip down the center to a 45 degree angle and then bolt them in, screw them in, right, to make the track. But they're roughly, the center of them are roughly 48 and a half inches across. Um, and they're just laying there so that you see about what the uh, trailer will be like. Over here, this end is unsupported, and I really don't like that. Um, but that will just hold the, the wheel, the track of the sawmill. Won't hold any weight, won't cut any logs. Um, and what that does is allows me to push back the sawmill and chain it to this, you know, when it's sitting. So what I'm going to do is when I go someplace to cut, I'll level it out. I'll put jack stands, probably about six jack stands, three on either side, and level it. Probably take the wheels off, take the wheels home with me so people don't steal the tractor, you know, steal the trailer. And then I'll just chain the sawmill to the trailer when I'm done. Uh -huh. And I'm going to deck it with some sawmill boards. I'm not going to put any more money into buying lumber. Um, you know, I'm just going to put some sawmill boards on there. And, you know, I'll probably paint it. I've got to rewire the electricity. But uh, it's 16 feet from here to the back. And you need four feet of space for the machine to operate. So two feet before the cut, two feet behind the cut. So with a 16 foot uh, span here, Basically what I get is I could cut 12 foot boards, which I want to be able to cut longer boards and I have a wooden track and I can cut, you know, as long a track as I want to build. But I find that going someplace to cut, I won't never cut more than probably a 10 foot board. So this is just perfect to make it easy, right? And looky here, that's less than two feet. So basically I'll start to cut about right here and I'd cut all the way down. And by making a V on either side, the lumbersmith track manual, you have a V that the motor end sits on, so the sawdust comes out, hits the V, falls down in that gap, and then on the non-engine side, it's just got an L. But by doing it this way and have two Vs, basically what I could do is I could run the board down that way, and if needed, I could flip it and run down this way probably won't do it that way but I can and uh, I like having that flexibility right um, probably thinking about getting a uh, little Harbor Freight truck crane and mount in a corner somewhere so I can get the logs up because I can't really um, what's it called par buckling where you put ramps and then you pull it up this way because the axles in the way so I'm gonna have to pull the logs on either with a piece of machinery or right up the end, right? So I'll have to play with the roller on the back of the uh, boat trailer and uh, work on this winch a little bit. But uh, for just seeing where we're at, I think this is a good start. And uh, having a nice solid track that doesn't warp because it's made solely out of wood um, will probably make my life a lot easier because what I've got now is, is four by fours on dirt 
and so you know it isn't as flat as it could be and that leads to some wavy boards um, besides me not knowing what I'm doing with the sawmill that leads to wavy boards too but having a better track I think will uh, get me better results so hope that was useful thank you